good morning, everyone. And uh, yeah, what would get me out of what would get me out of bed on a nice chilly Saturday, where the best place to be is bed? Well, war games would. It'll always be war games, and uh, especially when I get a I get an invitation from some nice folks like those over at the Georgetown University War Gaming Society uh, to do some instruction, I guess, for the want of a better phrase, in the nature and the art of wargaming as I do it. Uh, they've been doing a series of programs related to the application, the design of wargames, and uh, it's, it's my kick at the cat to teach, well, what I know best, or to talk about, I guess, what I know best, which is um, French or Napoleonic wargaming, and in this instance, particularly, the game I probably play the most, Sam Mustafa's Blue Heart. And so uh, I have I have dragged in I have dragged in we have lured him in with promises of glory uh, a uh, one of the folks from that program we have Nick good morning Nick it's wonderful to have you glad to be here I'm excited to play thanks for having me so um, what we're going to talk about first just so I can well Nick has never played he's watched some of the Leipzig videos uh, I, I'm sure he watched all 39 hours and uh, so we're going to show something that's much smaller but hopefully uh, just as enjoyable, and that's the Battle of Austerlitz, which we've played a number of times. But first, I want to talk about Blucher and what it does. If you go back all the way to the history of Napoleonic wargaming, and you go all the way back to where it starts, you know, obviously during the era and shortly thereafter, in 1824, von Reiswitz publishes his Kriegspiel, and all the way up through even H.G. Wells's Little Wars and Donald Featherstone's work, and I'm obviously covering about a century, but more than there, um, you, you're going to find that it's very focused on the battalion level. Uh, there's a lot of columns, lines, and squares. Yeah, units are, the concern is frontages of individual battalions and the deployment of those things under brigade structures. And that really persisted all through, oh gosh, really up to the 1980s. You didn't see a lot of games try to embrace the question of what, how do we get higher? How do we get up? Usually what these games did is they would bathtub. They would say, well, yeah, these 20 guys, that's a regiment. So now it's not a battalion, it's a regiment. And now I can fit all these guys in one place and it'll work. Because let's face it, if you think about the scale of any game, the first game I ever played, uh, the scale of men was 1 to 20. So if you think about a game like, well, forget about Leipzig, let's talk about Waterloo. Uh, that's a lot of guys. And then when you think about the ground frontages, if you tried to get those right, and boy, oh boy, do we try to as Napoleonic people, you, you, you wind up playing on gymnasium floors. And I did, and I have, with uh, 25 millimeter minifigs back in the day. So all of a sudden, and I'm going to give him credit for it, and there may be others that did it, a guy by the name of Frank Chadwick came along with a game called Volley and Bayonet. And sort of at the same time was being developed this game by uh, Avalon Hill called Napoleon's Battles. That said, wait a minute, let's pull back a little bit. Let's look instead at the brigade. And Napoleon's Battles went one way with it. But Frank Chadwick said, look, rather than worry about columns, lines, and squares, which he argued no Napoleonic commander actually worried about all that much, he said, can't we instead take a look at the brigade? And can't we, instead of worrying about its precise frontage, can't we instead focus on and can't we instead focus on the uh, the the footprint, if you will, of individual units? And that's what you saw in hit in Frank Chadwick's game Volley and Bayonet, which is still being played today. While well, Sam Mustafa took those concepts, created a game called Grand Armée, which is very good. But he polished it and polished it and worked at it. And he's one of the best rule writers I've ever encountered. And he created some years ago this game, Blucher. And that's what you see here deployed on the table. You don't see battalions, you see brigades. Every one of these bases represents a brigade of soldiers, whether they be infantry or whether they be cavalry. Each base, therefore, runs between 2,000 and 3,000 men. And that's the way you manage to fit the whole of this, the Battle of Austerlitz, on a single tabletop. When you get up to this level, the next question becomes, how do you represent, how do you model the questions of movement, firing, melee, and command control? 
And it's in this that we're going to talk about some of the rules. And I'm going to talk about that in reverse order because command control is where we start. Each turn in this game, Nick and I are going to roll for each other. We're going to roll a, a set of dice. And uh, that's what these die rollers are for. And Nick, I think you'll spot yours on your side over there. I can't see your side and there's a reason for that. Uh, we're going to roll a certain number of dice. And we're not going to reveal to the other person how many points we got on those dice. It's a secret. It's modeling the fact that I may not get to do everything I want to do. So you're going to roll those dice for me. You're going to say, all right, Joe, I've got those dice rolled. I, I keep that number in my head. And then I'm going to begin activating troops. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to want to activate core. What is it? Well, obviously a core is the high level organization of the Napoleonic Wars. The core designations are set on each one. For example, the one you're looking at right now, you can see that that is the second division of the fourth core. All three of these are from that core, four. These here are from first core. These here are from fifth core. If these units are within three inches of each other, and they must be within three inches, one base width, of one another, you can give them a command, you activate them, and then they can do things for a single mo momentum point, those dice you rolled for me. And we're going to have to keep track of how many I use. These fellows here, for example, as I say, are fifth core, so I could activate all three of them for three points. When I'm done moving, activating those, I'm going to say to you, Nick, can I keep going? If I haven't spent my mo dice, I may. And I'm going to keep going and I might activate this group of fellas. I'm going to ask again, may I keep going? Eventually, you're going to say no. And at that point, my turn is over. If I manage to get a unit stuck way out in the middle of nowhere, I suddenly have to use what they call independent activations. The catch is when I start doing independent activations, I can't go back and start doing core activations. And independent activations cost me two mo dice. They cost me double the cost. So that is no good whatsoever. But it's what I got to do. And I have to check after each one of them whether I'm done or not. So that's how we do our activations. That's how we're going to call out our moves. So what about, so that's, that's one of the ways we implement command friction trying to see, you know, I'm never quite sure I'm going to get to go as far as I might like to. So how do I maneuver? Remember again, these units are not, you should not think of these units as exactly where they are. To the contrary, there are thousands of men deployed in their battalions in lines, columns, and squares inside that space. So how do they maneuver? Well, if I've activated this unit, I have two choices. I can move it six inches straight ahead. Well, the first thing I can do, I can pivot it. And I hope you know how to, we can certainly work through the mechanics of this in Tabletop Simulator. But I'm allowed to pivot it. But I'm allowed to pivot, pivot it. Like, that. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. I'm allowed to pivot it as much as I like. At that point, I go straight ahead. And if I go straight ahead, I can move an infantry unit six inches. but I must go straight ahead and I must continue facing this way when I'm done. If I want to really do anything else, face a different way, make some turns, do some other stuff like that. I have to use what we call a complex move or a difficult move. And that only allows me to move half, which is three inches. It's similar for cavalry, which moves 12 and six. And it's similar for guns, which move again, six and three, just like our infantry do. If I should transgress water, if I should bounce into a town, a, an occupied area, I don't think we have any forests, but there are forests in other games. If I should step on those, it's automatically a complex move and I'm limited to that lower movement rate. All reflecting the difficulties of maneuver. One of the truly interesting things about Sam's rules is that roads have almost no effect on the game. A lot of games at this scale will give you a road bonus for movement. This game does not. 
and that's a feature, not a bug. So that's how I'm allowed. So that's how I'm allowed to move. What's the uh, purpose of having any roads other than just? The purpose of the road. The purpose of is there is a provision in the rules for what they what he calls reserve movement. Every act, every unit that has not made contact with the enemy, and has not yet activated in the game, may move up to thirty six inches. One time. It may not come within 12 inches of an enemy it can see. And once it's done that, it may not do it again. Using that, using the roads, you can cross a stream or difficult terrain without penalty. That's what it's for. Austerlitz, it doesn't have a lot of purpose. At other battles I've got, Teugenhausen, Leipzig, Egmuhl, some of the others, they're huge. They're very consequential. That's a good question. Why bother, right? If you do, if at any point in your turn you move, you may not later shoot. One of the big things units do during their movement is engage in combat. To engage in combat, you may pivot up to 45 degrees. And you must go straight ahead. Combat movement is a is a total. You, it's a it it the charge forward, and it does not, it is not affected by difficult terrain. Only exception. Cavalry may not charge through towns. It may not charge through trees. And you run up. It's what we call we call it the bonk. You uh, target yourself and move straight. You do not conform, as is the case in other rules. You know, you don't square up like that. It's just like this. Units have flanks and units have rears. A flank is this. Anything that is fully behind this line. And the rear is anything that is fully behind both this and that. It's easier to explain situationally rather than try to describe it abstractly. And we can work through a lot of that as we get into the game. What about firing? Well, after... We, oh, there's one other thing in movement. Any infantry unit may spend its activation and prepare. This is securing your flanks. This is garrisoning a town. This is getting ready to receive the charge of cavalry and forming square. It's a variety of things. If you do that, it has significant advantages against cavalry in the open, and it has significant advantages against attacks of any kind in a town, and you receive a prepared marker just like that one. If you prepare, you may still engage in fire combat. That makes sense so far? Yep. Awesome. So we've talked about how you move. We've talked about how the command and control structure works. Let's talk about everybody's favorite thing, which is combat. If you take a look at any unit, let's take a look at the 1st Brigade de Mont, the 1st uh, Division, the 5th Corps. You see it's got an Elan of 6. Well, that's the overall strength of the unit. If this unit were to fire, well, its firing range is 2 baths widths, 6 inches. But there are two range bands within that. 1 to 3 inches is what we call volley range. It's very effective. 3 to 6 is skirmish range, less effective. Three to six inches, you have your Elan when you shoot. So this unit would shoot with six at close range, but at three at long or skirmish. However, we see it has attached artillery. One of the choices that Sam makes is he says, rarely an artillery battery is actually the exception in Napoleonic warfare. Far more often... These guns are placed with their brigades. And that's why they get this statistic, attached artillery. That increases their Elan in ranged combat by one. So if this one is shooting, it now has a seven, which is halved to four. But what is more, the French, as we well know, had profoundly advanced skirmish capabilities that dated back to the revolution. 
and as a result, they get a bonus when firing at that longer range. What is a bonus? Well, this unit, as I said, is going to fire four dice. You're going to go over here to the trusty die roller. You're going to click it down to four. You're going to roll it. Sixes hit and only sixes hit. However, if you have a bonus, one five counts. Every hit you take de decreases your Alan and your overall combat effectiveness. When you get down to an Alan of one, you may no longer attack. You may still fire, but you may not melee. You may not advance to melee. And we'll, you'd probably want to try to rally that unit or get it off the board entirely. Melee. Now, skirmishers do not work in at close range. Makes sense. Attached artillery does. At close range, this unit would fire seven. Melee range, the same unit would fire six dice. But melee is simultaneous. Both units punching at each other. So if it is confronted with a similar unit, they're both going to roll six dice. Both of them are going to try to roll four, five, and six. Whoever rolls the most is said to have won. The defender always wins. If cavalry attacks infantry that is not prepared, the infantry must re-roll all its hits. If cavalry attacks infantry that is prepared, the cavalry must re-roll all its hits. Like I said, significant advantage. There are some subtler cases we'll talk about with um, artillery. Rallying. If you can get a unit six inches away from any enemy, you may use an individual activation only and attempt to rally it. If you attempt to rally it, if you attempt to rally it, you will roll a single you will die. Roll a single die. And on a three through and six, on a three through six, it gets an alon back. It gets an alon back. You can never get your first. You can never alon get back. your first alon back. Any questions about any, any questions that? about any of that? Uh, none so far. All right. Well, I think the best way to do this is to get stuck in. No, this game is not going to last for months. You take that back. My, uh, I have my, the the gallery has gathered out in the YouTube land, and they're being sarcastic gits is what they're doing. And no, at no point will we touch the fish which is also a reference. So it's good to see you gentlemen. So let's go to the rules, the special rules for this scenario. And how, you know, the really key thing is how do you win? The way we win in this game is by lowering our respective morales. And, um, oh, parenthetically, I can't believe I forgot this. The, um, the momentum dice is the key thing we talked about that you the french you get five i'm rolling five dice for you you're rolling a scant four dice for me the game begins at eight o'clock in the morning and it ends at uh 1700 hours on the 28th turn one thing that sam did if you notice if you take a look at your nisanel uh card which you should have your own of You'll notice that we have all these turns. One of the interesting things Sam did, and I've never asked him why he did it, is that every turn is actually our own. So I am turn one, you're turn two, so it's not both of us go before a turn is marked. And I'll, I'll help you keep track of that as we go. All right. So... Let's talk about some very specific parts of the map. Telnitz, Sokolnitz, Kobolnitz, Pratza, Puntovitz, Hoistiarik, Blazovitz, Jirskovitz, Holobitz, and Schlapnitz are all villages. What does that mean? Remember we talked about being prepared in all these villages. Infantry can prepare which makes them a real bear to dig out. 
I should mention that units in towns may not shoot out, nor may they be shot at by musketry. They may only be hit by cannon fire. These frozen ponds, if we get there, may only be crossed by, in, by infantry and cavalry. They aren't thick enough for, for cannon. I don't recommend it. This spot here, the pheasantry, is actually a garrisoned area, and you are in there prepared. Anytime you leave it, you would come unprepared, but, you know, that... Uh, that was that basically is a little almost like a natural fort on the battlefield in December of 1805. Each of the following villages counts as one broken unit for the French, Kobolnitz and the Pheasantry. What that means is your goal more than anything is to break my morale. And you'll see we have these morale counters set up here. The French are at 18. The Allies are at a poor 11. If you are able to take from me, um, if you are able to take from me Pracha, Uyetzt, Horstedek, Blazevitz, and Holobitz, that is, that is a point against me. Um, if I am able to take from you Kobolnitz and the pheasantry, I get one point. And if I am able to get Telnitz, Sokolnitz, Puntovitz, Jirskovitz, or Schlapnitz, that's two points for me. So there's a lot of points out there. But here's the big one. You win by holding Holobitz, Pracha, and Blazovitz at the same time. It's a bit of a big ask, I won't lie. Pracha. Blazovitz. Holovitz. Basically indicating you have cut me off. I win if I get Kobolnitz, Sucklenitz, Telnitz, and the Pheasantry. I've got to come here. And take those things from you. There was also a great deal of fog in December of 1805. And because of that, the areas covered by the first two gradients has upped a six inch limit in terms of visibility. And then it goes up to four. And this is the whole famous son of Austerlitz business. Where are those gradients? They're way down here. Starting down here in these low lying areas, you see them marked. Also down here, down here. Limited visibility for the first couple turns. It's never been a problem, but you just don't know. You just don't know what other people will come up with. Where do all these nice troops come from? Well, you see these guys over here? That's Davout's Third Corps. They're marching from Vienna hell for leather to try to help you they will start arriving back here hopefully on turn four but you've got to roll for them all right any questions before i start shooting at you If you are taught, yeah, you show, you show yourself as Michaelis right now, so I cannot hear you. Now, 
Nick, you still there? Uh oh. I have a text message. Round. Ah. Ah. Talk amongst yourselves. We'll be with you shortly. Okay, there we go. Sorry. Ooh, you scared Can you hear me? me? Ooh, you scared me. Give me a break. I am not, I'm, I'm very unfamiliar with Steam chat. I usually use Discord. Sorry. <laughs> uh oh. Don't tell oh, don't, don't all my tell friends out there will be yell at will yell at me because they always want me to use Discord and I just can never get the sound levels to work right. So, were there any questions before, as I say, I before, as I say, I start shooting at you? Um, yeah. Um, so, um, about the die roll to bring in the reinforcements, what do I have to roll on that? Do I have to roll six, like, for the hits in combat? Uh, no. To get, uh, the, the, to get Davu's third core to arrive. Let's go here. They arrive at reinforcements beginning turn four. Each unit is diced for on a one to three, it arrives. On a four to six, it'll it will you have to try again the next turn. The next turn. Okay, that sounds like a uh, much much less risky proposition than I thought. So that's good. Yeah. No, no, Davu is uh, unlike Darlon at Catrabra. Davu is coming. So you know, just a just a matter of when, I guess. But yeah, that's what I needed. I just needed to find out. From the intelligence briefing, and all my boys arrive. There they are. No. Oh, there they are. There's all my fellers. Allied dispositions. Uh, set up. 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 Many times as I've played this, you'd think we would remember. There we go. All right. Very good. Well, we'll start then. So to begin the game, I, as I said, I get four momentum dice. So I would ask you to roll four dice on your uh, die roller over there. Uh, remember the number and tell me I'm all set to go. You're actually going to want to roll the one that is under the white box over here. Because I can't see that and it won't print out. Because I'm not too... Uh, I'm not that, too okay, that, that makes sense. Okay, I didn't see that one. Yep. I wish I could have had that roll. That was a good one. All right. And if you would, could you go in there, please? And you'll see on the thing, it says print on and print off. Yep. And, uh, and so make, I sure it says make sure it says print off. Yeah, it says print off. Ah. There we go. All right. So All I've right. Got, I've, got so I've, got, I've got some more dice. don't have is nearly enough guns all right so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna begin by activating 
this left wing. All right. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to do what I talked about, which is to say to do a complicated move, which means I only get to move three inches, but I could pretty much do whatever I want with that three inches because it's just not that far. So, God, it's nothing. So that's one. It's two, and this guy, he's gonna, he's just gonna do it for real. And because it's tabletop simulator, we make slight allowances for that. Three, now these guns. And remember, when you pivot that way, you do have to move straight ahead if you want to move the six. All right, so now I have moved one, two, three, four. I say to you, I've spent four momentum points. May I continue? Yes, you may. Thank you. I'm now going to activate this group, which I think is, yeah, this group is too far out. She'll be coming down the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming down the mountain when she comes. I have now moved three more, so I've moved a total of seven. May I continue? Yes, you may. Oh, such wonderful possibilities. I'm going to activate the uh, avant-garde here. I've never done this. I'm going to do it. Hi. Never done that. Probably going to regret it. Regret it. Was that was that seven inches? I thought they could only move six if it's crossing the screen. If they are charging, if they are charging, they oh, they uh, terrain. If they are charging, they they are charging they ignore terrain. Except, gotcha. they except can never they... charge through a town or trees. We do have trees. Here. Okay. Yeah, and and I'm going to take a penalty for that, but I hope it'll be worth it. The tirailleur. Mm. All right, so that's a total of nine for me. Can I keep going? Yes. Uh, huh. No kidding. All right, I'm going to activate left wing third division. Six inches sounds like a lot, and then it isn't. That is now 12. May I keep going? No. All right. All right. So now we go over to, we go to firing, which is gunnery. Well, I have no artillery that can see you or shoot you. I'll see you or shoot you for that matter. Uh, and uh, we would then go to musketry, but these all guys move. Those fellows move, which takes us to melee, and there's only one. Let's take a look at it. Cavalry Brigade Keenmeyer is a seven Elan, but it's oversized, which means it gets a plus one in melee combat. It means it gets an eight, but it is standing in the river, which is no good, which drops it back to a seven. You are six, but you are undersized. So you are going to roll a five. So I'm going to roll seven dice. You're going to roll five dice and you're hoping to roll fours, fives, and sixes. 
That makes sense. It's this one over here in the corner that you guys can see. Yes, right? exactly. You're yes. going to roll that one. That's an oof. Yeah, that's a... So I hit one, two, three, four, five. And you hit and one. And you hit so one. I hit one. So, yeah. I hit you for... F now, because I, I win by that margin... So I hit you for four. Here, however, is your far greater problem. And that is retreating. And I just, now what I do, by the way, is I record. Is retreating. Retreats must take place within a 45 degree arc. Behind you. And you must go back six inches. There is literally no way to do that without retreating off the board and being destroyed. But I'm not going to do that to you. I'm not, because you didn't know, and I hate to have people have that first experience. So instead, we're going to do this. The way we would do it is you go like this, and you must face away from me and go galloping off this way. Besides, this is a better Besides, this is a better teaching All right. thing. Okay, that, that makes sense. So you're going to go that way. Now, in the, the straight rules, you'd have gone straight off the board and, and that unit would have been destroyed. What about follow-up? In Blucher, I may go one base depth, which is three inches, straight ahead. And I'm going to do that. That's all I can do. All right, so they got chased off that way. And now, I was in a combat, so even though I won, I still take damage. I take one hit because obviously I was fighting. Something happened. Okay. Oh. See? One of the things I always bring along with me when I do these things is... Sure, I could see him has. I was in the front. You, visibility is 360, no? I have a, a wonderful group of kibitzers out in the uh, world that keep me honest as to the rules. Oh, that way. Oh, my goodness. Yep. That's why that rule works much better than I thought. There is an absolute rule in Blue Curve that you may not charge something you cannot see. So will that, I'm assuming that changes the outcome of that last it combat? It sure does. It sure does. So what is, so what is the limit on the visibility for your six unit? In, uh, for six, in, uh, turn, six inches. Ah, that makes sense. So, why they have the fog so, now. Yeah. Yep, this that never happened. That's why that works. Okay. I feel so much better actually. Cause I was, I was like, why would the, the gentleman who designed this Ross McGee is uh, he's from uh, old Meldrum, Scotland, and he's a brilliant scenario designer. And I rarely catch him at things like this. And now I understand why you can't get away with it. I'm glad actually. I'm quite glad. I still want to do that. Cause I want to stick him out in front of him. So you can't do anything fancy. Uh, okay. Finally, for me in my first turn, there is uh, my Imperial Guard, which arrives as a reinforcement. Reinforcements in Blucher uh, come on the table at set points. They're typically points that are unsurprisingly based around supply lines. So you talk about roads, they're more conceptual here. But they're supposed to come on in a rough column. Um, so in this sense, and they come on, and they must come on six inches. So what I'm going to do... These are my reinforcements for this turn. These guys come on later. Yeah, this is... Or no, do I get these guys? Jim suddenly says his brain freezing. <laughs> has his brain. Has his... Yes, yes. You know, I appreciate you, Has. You know that. Uh... Advance guard, right wing with Bagration. No, I get Tsar Alexander. 
Zara Alexander's boys right here, they come on here. These are my guards. Somebody just created new flags for these. I like them. I try very hard when playing these games never to mask my guns. Never ever. All right. I'm all set. So I've brought these guys on as reinforcements. They're within six inches, so they can all make it. If you can't make it all the way on the board, you have to wait. Okay, he's the CNC. It's now time to talk CNCs, and you're going to like this a lot. You have a very, you special, have a very special CNC. This guy right here. CNCs in Blucher don't actually show up on the board until you slap them down and give them a and use their power wherever you choose to use it and then you pull them off and you put them wherever you want they also can't get killed not cncs lower guys can like morale over here what you're going to do with napoleon now that it is, it is your turn anytime napoleon act activates a unit and he has to be the first guy to do it and he can do it anywhere on the board he's napoleon he's crazy He's got this ability called exceptional staff work. However many people he is able to activate, it only costs two Mo points. We affectionately refer to this as Napoleon's special thing. So, so like it could so. be just a big group of like this six units over here. And it would all only cost yeah. two. We'll see, the, points thing is, we'll see the, the thing is, this, the, these guys this, here, these guys here? The cavalry reserve. That's a different core. So you could activate these three and it would cost two. Yeah, these guys just aren't close enough and they're not supposed to be. But if all these guys were together, they're all cavalry reserve, they could be activated all for two points. These four could be activated for two points. Well, that's nifty, thanks. Yeah, the, ent <laughs> the entire guard could be activated for two points. So it's, it's a very nice efficiency. But remember, it must be your first activation. I'll ask you to advance the turn marker, please. It is now turn two. And now I'm going to very secretly and surprisingly roll some mo dice for you. And you're up. What would you like to activate? Um, I think uh, to begin with, I'd activate this um, these skirmisher brigades, these brigades right here. So activate that. All right. Um, All right. And then move them. Just move them forward. All right. Complex All right. as Good. far as they can go. Well, it's. I think. Well, it's, it's, yeah, I think if you want to go as far as you can go, that's a simple move. So you can just drag. If you just want to shove them forward six inches, go right ahead. And uh, do you know how to do the measuring thing? Uh, not quite. Let me pull it out. It's uh, you it's, don't even uh, have to. You don't even have to. What you what you, what you, what you want to do? Select them all. Select them all. And then left click and, then and hold. Left click and hold. And then hold down the tab. And then hold down the tab key. And now move ah. them forward. And now move them forward. There we go. Sorry, it wasn't exactly a straight line. That's no, fine. You may continue. That was three points. Although if you wanted to say, and I will give you the credit here, I will say that you used Napoleon 
to do that. So it's only two. So remember, he has to be the first guy to go. And uh, remember I told you about reserve moves? Since these guys have not activated before, and since they're a long distance away from my guys, you can move them up to 36 inches. If your desire is to push them forward, you certainly may do so. They get to do that once. Yeah, the only thing you can't do there is hit that. So yeah, that's legit because that's not within 12 inches. Perfect. And you could do the same thing with these guys if you wanted to. F1. Gets rid of that ruler. That's a dramatically different approach from ones I've seen. I like it. Am I allowed to keep going? Uh, thank you for, uh, thank thank you thank you for, for asking. Thank you for asking. Uh, one, two, uh, that was two. That was two. Five. Five. Continue. Continue. All right. I'm going to activate the second of the fourth core over here for three and uh, and those guys because and those guys because they're going to hit the river you're going to have to stay short you're going to have to stay short you're going to have to stay short all right can i keep going uh, five, eight. Continue. Continue. Going to activate the first of the first core mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming that'll stop them short as well, since they cross the river. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, can I keep going? You're done. You're done. No gunfire that nope. I can see. I don't think anybody's got cannons in that you have any cannons in range. No musket. No, but the cannon fire is very far. This, oh, by the way, this fella right there, that's a horse gun. He can shoot. Is that 45 degrees? It is not. But uh, he can move and shoot. All ranges are measured from the center out. And that would have been within cannon range, just so you know down the road. If you are within six inches, that is canister range and has a bonus just like in musketry. All right. So I don't see any cannons. No muskets are close enough, and I don't see any melees because nothing happened down here. So with that in mind, next turn. 
It's now turn three. I would ask you to roll me some momentum dice, please. Alrighty, you're good to go. I don't know what I feel about this. I don't know what I feel about this. Well, actually, I do know what I feel about this. I don't like it. I am activating the uh, guard, the Russian guard, all here in a nice bunch. Units may interpenetrate so long as they can fully clear the unit they're penetrating. Again, these are not densely packed with people. There's lots of space in between that they can travel through. All right. Okay, that was, that was, a, question. Right. That was a question I did have. Yep. Okay. One, yep. two, three, four, five, six, seven. May I continue? Yes, you may continue. I'm just not going to roll that well twice. I'm just not. Now we're still into two base width visibility, but I am within two base widths of you now. I'm going to do that. That's two more, so a total of nine. May I continue? No. Shoot. I was afraid of that. How did I just know? All right. I got no guns that can see you to the best of my reckoning. All right. No guns. And so we can so no play that combat? Yeah, we, 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 it goes through an order. It's artillery, musketry, and then melee. Ah, so I'm just, sense. I always am double checking to make sure that I didn't miss any, uh, miss any, basically. All right, let me check one other thing here. The, uh, I need to find out at 920. I don't get my reinforcements till next turn. All right, no musketry uh, that I can see because that guy moved and he can't shoot into a town anyway. Uh, no melee, just the one melee. All right, same deal. Uh, by the way, I just want you to know that those viewing are cheering you on. They are saying, please, you should get a Velker roll. That is a reference to my son who is famous for his absurdly good die rolls. Seven to five, same deal. Is that a hit a piece? A hit a piece. 
I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I want to shoot myself. Um, okay, well, there it is. So, what does that mean? That means you win. You take a loss. I take two. I take two. Love to see it. And I must now go back. I, I bounce out, essentially. I go back six inches. If I can't clear, I, if I bump into somebody, I keep going. If it's my own guys. If I bump into you, I get killed. So I got to get clear. So I got to go back all the way there. So yeah, that's a loss. That's a horse on me. Oh, you did so much better last turn, lad. So much better. But not then. All right. So my reinforcements are coming on next turn. I got nothing. So it is your turn. It is now turn four. Which means at the end of this turn, we'll begin rolling to see if Marshal Devu has made it onto the map. Each one of those brigades. And I'm now giving you your modice. You're up. You're up. Okay. Um, Remember I Napoleon. Going Remember to... Napoleon first. Uh, Napoleon first. Yes. And you can do that every turn, right? Correct. Correct. Okay. Uh, I am going to bring him here. I'm going to activate this core. It's oh, part of the core. Oh, I see, I see you've joined. The I see you've joined chat. the YouTube chat. <laughs> I, I indeed have. Awesome. Awesome. Just, just want to get their knowledge. Uh, that's it. Uh, that's that, it. That, that, believe nothing has. Believe has. nothing has. Believe nothing says. <laughs> nothing about blue. Yeah, he knows nothing. Yeah, he knows nothing about blue. Uh, can I keep going? Yes, that's two. Yes, yes that's two. Right. Yes. Oh, I say, of course, I can keep going. Um, I'm also going to activate the first to the first. Yes. Yes. And that's the. Can I keep going? You may keep going. You may keep going. One, two. Activate the first of the fifth core. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to rotate them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or do I have to do that individually? Or can I it's do it probably all best It's individually, probably best individually, but this is within three inches. I'm mostly just trying to do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So two, six, so two, nine. six nine. Continue. Can I can keep going. Excellent. I'm going mm -hmm. to I'm going to activate this um, light cap the one cavalry that was just engaged last turn. Yes. I'm going to do a yes. complex move. Mm -hmm. Wait, mm -hmm. do this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn them and can I can I turn them and charge this infantry? No, no. The only thing, the only thing is charging is always straight ahead. Always straight ahead. So if you mm -hmm. want to charge them, so if you, you want to charge them, you got to face them and run at them. Heck, why not? Go oh, well. I'm going to do that. I resemble that. I resemble that. I was hoping to get the flank. Yeah, it's it's not that's yeah, not gonna it's, it's not that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen, indeed. Can I keep going? I was. Uh, oh, I was, one thing. Uh, is, oh, one thing is. I'm not going to penalize you for. I'm not going to penalize you for it. But that was but an independent. That move. was an independent move. And you can't go back. And you to can't go moves. back to core moves once you start. Independent. Oh, okay. once you start independent. So we'll just mark that. So as we'll two just mark that as two. And go back to core. And go back to core. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you yeah. had to do it in that yeah. order specifically. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. a total of eleven. That's a total of eleven. They're telling me to get those guns in action. I think I might. <laughs> uh, the kibitzers. Uh, the kibitzers. Um, I'm assuming they mean these ones up here. So, um. I guess I'll just take an independent action and go to the individual level All right. and then All right. pivot this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And 
Am I able? Am I able to fire? I think. Oh yes. Oh yes. I guess I'll do the, that firing. Uh, Can I keep going? Further move. Yes. That takes you yes. To that takes you to thirteen. Going to activate this one. I know since I've already gone to individual movements, I'm gonna to have to move these guys individually. Well, as I said, I'm not gonna. Well, as I said, I'm not gonna demerit you for that. If this can be. This can be three. But because you're almost but because you're hitting almost certainly that town, hitting that town, he's got to be limited. He's got to be limited to six. Okay. Okay. I think that's as far as I can get them. Can I keep going? Fourteen. Fourteen. Continue. Continue. I'm going to act. I'm going to activate the first of the fourth core over here in the center. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That should be three. Can I keep going? Yes, 17. Yes, 17. I'm going to activate this, uh, these reserves right here, these Grandier reserves. Mm -hmm. And I can do that with once. I'm going to use the reserve move on them. Very good. Very good. And for the reserve move, um, does it matter if I like rotate them? No, you can face any way. You can want. face any way you want. Twist around, twist around anyone. But the minute you hit the river, the minute you hit the river, you're, that's going to limit you. That's going to limit you. That's where those. That's where those. Remember, we that's talked those, about, remember we talked about that's where roads matter. Yes. Okay. I am going to. There you go. Long. There you go. You want to stop them there? Want to stop them there because now you want to measure now you want to measure again. You got twelve inches left. You got twelve inches left. There you go. There you go. All right. Can I keep going? You may. You may. Um, I'm going to activate this guard core in the back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And since it's comprised of multiple different types, does it just go as fast as the slowest unit? Correct. Correct. Six, since it's not a complex move. Can I keep going? And that's it. And that's it. 21. 21. All right. You. Uh-oh. What happened to your boys? I'm sorry. I think I accidentally forgot to undeselect them. And you unhorsed some. You unhorsed some carabineers. That's never good. Well, they don't like it. Well, you got some gunfire. We know that. Uh, this guy here. Now, gunfire within six inches, you have to shoot the nearest. This one, however, is a choice. Uh, you, you can shoot at the horse. Shooting at the guns does cause you to shoot at half effect because they're deployed. So you can fire at the guns or you can fire at the horses. I would actually say you could probably also... Eh, that's not such a... Eh, it's pretty much here and here. Here and here. 
I think it's uh, a better idea to hit that cavalry. All right. So. All right. I'm gonna go with that. Yep. So that yep. is. So that is five dice. dice. No bonus. Eight sixes. Eight sixes. Nothing. Nothing. And I think you had a melee. Yep. Okay, so you are five undersized four in the water three. I am six. Three to six, but I must reroll all hits. Makes sense. So I'll roll. Hit me twice. Hit me twice. I hit you twice. I hit you twice. Oh, boy. Gotcha. That's a loss. You take the You down. take the three. You go back. So I go back over in this area. Into this area. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. me there you go. that's it i think that's it now we check for devu we're gonna go down brigade by brigade one die at a time see who shows up uh one to three they like coming here we can start with brigade kister they want to be here Look at that. how about so, brigade how about brigade loche Perfect. How about them? How about, about them? Dragoons? How about them dragoons? Wow! Them wow! It's <laughs> a hook. Oh, the only one. Oh, the only one. That wasn't very cash money. All right. So, all right. So these guys, these, these guys, guys these guys in. are all in. Um, you um, can. You can. Place, you have to put them. Place. You have to put them. In, it's basically back in. Back in it's here. basically back in here. And they must come on six. And inches. they must come on six inches. And remember the froze. The remember the froze. The lake is frozen, so they can cross it. It's just artillery that can't cross Correct. it, right? Correct. We did not forget. Fog we did not forget because fog we were at a higher because level. we were at a higher level. I think that's the end of my turn. All right. There they are. The third core is in. All right. Very good. It's now turn five. So if you would give me my modis, please. I still want to punish you. All right, you are good to go. I'll stay focused. Uh, activating the, the uh, left wing guys here. Four. Can I keep going? Yes, you can. And now this little problem you've given me. Activating the guard. Son of a. So that'll leave you kind of out in the middle of the 
Yeah, I'm not. I ain't, yeah, I'm not. I ain't, I ain't that stupid. I'm stupid. I guess. One thing you always want to keep your eye on in Blucher is are you close enough so that you can do your core activations. With that, it's always nearest to nearest. So, with the uh, two down there, Sorry, the uh, one, two, three, four down there. I don't know what numbers I'm making up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. May I continue? Yes, you can. Fourteen, can I keep going? Yes, indeed. Jeez. Seventeen. Keep going. Yeah, I'm going to do a reserve move. Where's nearest I can get to? Yeah, these ones? Oh, I got all the distance in the world. Twenty. Uh, keep going. Further reserve move. Twenty three. Uh, stop. Yeah. Yeah, you had to kill that roll. I was going to say, I'll take that each turn, please. Okay. I think I'm finally beginning to understand reserve moves. Okay. Uh, cannons, yeah, I had some. He moved, but he didn't. My guard foot, heavy gun, going right there. Not inside canister range, so that's got to demerit his de decrement his uh, artillery ammunition. That is six with a bonus. <coughs> the bonus pays. I hate your. So hate how your much light. damage does that do? One. Just one. One. I hate it. I really.
really don't like your seven skirmish guys. They are they are mighty indeed. No melees, no musketry. That's all movement. These guys are getting very close to musketry. Not yet though. Looking, we're looking. Yeah. That's it. That means I get to bring on this dude. You're playing games with me, are you? I respect that. Hello. What a show. Hey, Jeff, look, I brought Cossacks. Well, that's not entirely wrong. This is one of the great cavalry battles of the Napoleonic Wars. Uh, yeah, I don't like those odds. I don't think I'm going to get out of there. No? You're invited to stay. But if, for example, if I did, <laughs> if I did have more troops there and I was able to kind of, if I was able to beat your troops and they retreated, they would have to go off the board, kind of like what you right. did initially. Right. Right. But, but if you're too close, I push you back when I first arrive. But you weren't too close. I I had room to deploy. But yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, getting getting stuck in a bad spot like that can be lethal. That is true. That can be lethal. But those are these 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 horses are not for playing with. Okay. All right, that's it. And all my boys are on the board. Check it out. Turn six. You have momentum dice. Alrighty. Um, so I'm going to activate uh, the first of the fifth over here from the left. You That's your right. You use Napoleon. And I'm going to... Napoleon. Napo you Napoleon, yes. I will do that. Actually, wait, no. I will not do that. I'm going to use that him for these guys over here. Alright. Since that'll save right. me a point. I'm going to activate these guys for a complex move. And that will. Oops, I guess one more. T I should have just put them over the bridge, shouldn't I? Should have done that. And activate. Morning, Daniel. Daniel. This one over here as well. Once they're out of the river, and then I'm going to activate these guys here. Um, and mm -hmm. part of this phase, I'm gonna, I can have them dig in, like prepare, right? Yes. Yes. I'm gonna have them prepare. Mm -hmm. Don't prepare. So all both of them. There? So all both of them there. Okay, and that is total five. Keep going. Total five. Keep going. I think that's eight with the, all of the units that I've done. Oh, who else? Did um, you oh, who else did you do? Sorry, you had these two, and then these guys right here. I kept moving them across oh. the other. Oh, okay. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Keep going. Keep going. I'm going to activate the first of the fourth mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. here. And then, and then I'm going to activate these reinforcements that just came onto the map last my last mm -hmm. turn. Hard to maneuver. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, can I keep going? Oh yeah, it's fourteen. Oh yeah, it's fourteen. Keep going. I'm going to activate the third of the fifth over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I guess they're gonna run into the river, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can I keep going after that? Yep. Yep. And does Marshal Murad do anything that he when he is attached, he, when he is attached, he gives a plus he gives one a plus in one combat in combat to any attached cavalry unit. unit. Ah, but you do have to check to see. But if you he do gets have to killed. check to see if he gets killed. Okay. Um. Gonna not activate those guys. I'm gonna activate these guys. Can I, uh, wait, no, I think he's going. Um, can I keep going? 18, keep going. 18, keep going. I'm going to switch to individual movements. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That. Can I keep going? Yes, 20. Yes, 20. Can I keep going? You're done. You're done. Okay. Cannon. Any? Yes. Here. At least. And I'm going to yeah. I'm going to attack that uh, light cavalry yep. brigade as yep. well. Uh, uh, crap! Four no bones. And here I forgot to move my cavalry. That's a that's a major mistake. <laughs> but okay. Um. All right. So that gives me. So I roll four. Mm-hmm. Or, mm-hmm. No hit. No hit. Okay. Uh, any musketry or melee? I didn't see any. But always willing to be corrected. I think your, your one gun is done. Yeah, I think that's it. Alright, let's find out if uh, at last so hook feels about how does Sahook feel about joining us? That's right, it's just one die. You want to give me... You, you can, I'll keep those as my mo dice. That's fine. I can't see them, but whatever they are is fine. But you got to check to see if Sahook shows up. That's 1d6. You want a 1 to a 3. There he is. Bring him on. Six inches again. Just remember, if you take him that far over, he'll be entirely individual actions. You want to keep him in range of three corn, if at all corn, possible. If at all possible. It just seems like, I, with, with that town there, it doesn't seem like you'll be able to go through that, and that'll just kind of break up the line I've got going there. So... Uh. Because they can't go through that town, right? Oh no, they can enter the town. Oh no, they can enter the town. They just can't charge through it. Oh, okay. That that that's a game changer. I'll just bring them out to align with these guys. It's red. How you doing? It's red. How you doing, man? Bishop Cactus. Yeah, Bishop Cactus. Okay, that that actually changes the way I was approaching that. Cool. So that's different. And you are going to want to use Davu. You can put him here, pretty much. Why? He's vigorous. What does that mean? See that? Whenever he makes an activation, i.e. these guys, activation cost is halved. That's helpful to know. Use your Davu. My favorite marshal. All right. 
And you did give me some mo dice, but we should advance the turn. It is turn seven. How am I gonna do this? Well, there's not too many ways to do this. <laughs> I would not be what I am if I didn't do this. Hi. Yeah. I'm going to regret that if it really screws up, but... Yeah, I got to do that, too. Oh, that's right, I got it. Okay, important rule that I just caught my own self on. If you wish to melee, there's a center point. It's right there, front center. It must go straight into the unit you're attacking. So his center point... Fine. This center point going this? Nope, not a melee because it only goes, that point is this way. So can't do it. That galactically sucks. What am I going to do? Horse artillery has a movement of three or nine base, or three base widths or nine. What's I'm going to do? Come on. Come on, squeaky. Give me one. Perfect. Who knew? Ah, one, two, three, four, five, six. May I continue? Yes, you may continue. Thank you. All right, we're solving this. streams how I hate you that adds an additional one two three four five six seven may I continue may I continue no you may not I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have been surprised been surprised uh, artillery start here guard foot shooting there uh, now you are prepared, which means you're standing very still, which means I do get a bonus, uh, but I would have gotten one anyway because I am heavy artillery. You only get one bonus. Can't get two. So five with a bonus. Bonus pays. Moved, moved, moved. I don't think I did absolutely anything down here. All right, gunnery. Uh, yeah, I'm going to shoot at your uh, horsies there. They're also heavy artillery, five of the bonus. Five for the bonus. Which ones? Here. Sorry. Here. I'm and not seeing I lost my pointer. I lost oh, my okay. pointer. I see it now. All right. It's actually six with a bonus. Actually. Six with a bonus. Ooh, first nick on him. Uh, no 
shots. And, oh, well, might as well shoot at you. Thing about horses, things about guys shooting horses, no matter what range it is, they always take a negative because you're harder to hit that way. Uh, so they have attached artillery, which is six, but that drops them to three. Three, no bonus on those light cav. Look at that. No guns, no musketry, no guns, no guns, no musketry. Melees. I got two of them. Three of them. Wow. Yeah, three melees. All right, let's do them least consequential moving up. Guns. The way guns work, you get to roll your uh, amount of ammunition. I'm going to roll my Alan, which is seven. So it's going to be seven to four. Here's the thing. If I beat you by one, you have to retreat. You have to go back that distance and we're done here. If I beat you by, if I double you, however, if I double you, uh, then you are removed from the table and automatically destroyed. So this is a seven to four. That's two to two, isn't That's it? That's two to two, isn't it? Uh, yes, indeed. Yeah, that's great. Wait, no, you only did you have to roll a four or four better? You four only better. rolled one. Okay, four better. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter because you can only you can't lose by a lot. So I I just lost to horse guns. Oh, that guys, we're gonna talk guys, about, we're gonna talk about it. There's gonna be a there's gonna be a debrief about this, and you're not gonna like it. Ugh. All right, here. Next one. Uh, this is their oversized. That's so a seven. Seven to six. Straight up. Four hits. Two hits. Four to two. I win by two. He said exhaling. And you go back six inches facing the right way. It's going to be uh, straight back. Perfect. Nice job. And the biggie. Don't screw this up. Eight. I have this ability called shock, which is beneficial on the attack. These are the big nasty boys. That's eight to your five. Eight to five. Great. Four hits. Uh, yeah. Uh, yep. That's a kill. That's a kill. <laughs> There's not a lot of. There's kill. not a lot of. Good, uh, I suppose. Like so do you get to see so, this the first time? you get to see this the first time? My my morale drops, my by, morale one drops by one point. point. Excellent. That's a lot of really, good, a horses lot of really good horses that got killed. Alright. Alley, alley, alley. There are no melees down here. Yeah, that's it. Cool. We move on to turn eight. We are clicking through them now. Turn eight, turn eight, turn eight. I give you more dice. You now have them. Don't forget Napoleon and Davout's special abilities. All right, I'm going to begin by activating using Napoleon to activate the first brigade of the first corps. Yes. Yes. And I don't. Are they still considered in the river right now? Because that back part is. Uh, yes, they're still in. The uh, river. Yeah, they're Absolutely. still in the river until you clear. All right, I guess I'll just move them forward. And they are now clear. Excellent. Delanor. Delanor. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. And then I'm going to activate. And these guys are still all in range to be activated at the same time, looks like. From the reserve, yep. 
in the reserve, yep. Can I keep going? Uh, it's five, yes. Uh, it's five, yes. Going to. Um, going to actually activate the first of the fifth year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Going to move these guys for. I, I suppose I need to remove the repair. I can. I'll handle that. Don't I can. I'll handle that. Don't worry about that. You, These could, guys you couldn't. You could enter melee if you wanted. Enter melee if you wanted. And apparently he does. And apparently he does. That uh, I do. That I do. That's what I meant to do. <laughs> then I'm going to. Can I keep going? Yes. Yes. And is it possible to attack with two separate units on one unit like can, if i hit you one can one? if you can make the geometry if you can make the geometry work okay like if i attack from the back and and the front at the same time oh yes oh yes hmm. i am going to activate this light hussar next to this cannon mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I suppose, that, I suppose do that. that doesn't quite work. Right, because he's not going right. to be able to charge to that ton. But uh, he can attack that artillery, it looks like. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Is that 12 inches? Is that 12 inches? Oh, it is. Oh, it is. And then... There is a bonus for attacking the rear of a unit, right? There is. But there is, but you can only pivot 45, 45 degrees, degrees before a charge. Before a charge. Hmm. In that case, I'm going to activate this guy as well, this chasseur. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And going to charge mm. this guy. Mm. Uh, oh, sorry. Did not take him. Grab the wrong one. Him. Grab the wrong one. Can I keep going? Uh, that was eight. Uh, that was eight, nine, nine ten. ten. Go. I'm going to activate. This over here on the far right, your far left, mm -hmm. the uh, mm -hmm. this third brigade yes. regiment yes. that's yes. in here. He uh, started in. He uh, started in rough. So it's it's, okay. Inches. So it's three inches. Now he's a solo. Now he's a solo, so, so that's going to cost you two. Yes, I know. Ten. Keep going. It's ten. Keep going. I'm going to do. I'm going to move this light cavalry. I'm going to. He apologize, can charge I apologize, across. I apologize. That's twelve. That's twelve. That's twelve. So yeah, That's 12. So yeah you can keep going. But you can still keep going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Going to charge across this stream. Mm, there you go. Mm, there you go. Over the gold box. Over the gold box. And this infantry unit as well. Can I keep going? Uh, they're in the same. Uh, they're in the same core, so you can keep going. Okay. okay. You're just gonna have to make. Me just gonna have to make me feel a little better about it by doing this. Remember that center thing. Remember that center thing I was talking about. Yeah. There you go. That's fine. There you go. That's fine. And that's it. Can I keep going? And that's it. That's it. Where do you want to, uh, we start with gunnery? What do you got? That fell at those horse? Yes. Is that still a three? Four dice? Three, no gunner. Yeah, they're running out of gun. Yeah, they're running out of gun. They're running out of power. Powder. Powder. 
Okay. And three no so three, three no attacking no that uh, cavalry brigade. Sure. Sure. Nothing. Uh, are they going to do anything? Seem not. Are these horses actually ever going to do anything? <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Any other guns? Okay. Any other guns? I don't think so. I think so. I think that's the only artillery I've got going right now. Okay. Musketry? No. Musketry? No. Those guys came in. Those guys came in. That's... that's. And they moved. And they moved. So. so. That's it. All right. That's it. All right. Miles. Which one do you want? Um, Which one do you want? Let's start over here on the far left. Just just walk your way over. Sure, you're sure. Right. That's, a you're a, that's a charge uphill. So three. So three. Um, three um, to six. Three to six. Well, that's four. Well, the thing is, you can. Well, thing is, you can only lose. Only right? lose, you lose, right? A, you don't lose a. You know, so you're down to two. You're down to six two. Six inches where it's, the way, where it's the way you can. Another one here, if you want it. Yes. Okay. Okay. I don't like this. I don't like this. Or. Well, they are steady. Well, they are steady. So it's four to seven. So it's four to seven, but I'm re-rolling all hits. So four. You roll four. I roll seven. I roll seven. And I managed to hit. And I managed to hit three times. I managed to hit four hit times. Uh, Every roll, I hit one, three. three. Yeah, it's another kill. Yeah, it's another kill. That's what I thought. And you may advance three inches if you wish. I don't think that's a good idea. I didn't think so either. But I didn't think so either, but I, th I have to. I have to offer. No, I don't think I'm going to do that. All right, over here. Uh, All right, over here. Uh, I want to do these. This is. This is. I'm rolling eight. I'm rolling eight. And you're rolling six. And you're rolling six. Eight to six. Eight to six. Here we go. I got five hits. Five each. Five each. So I All right, so that's why we I retreat. Mm -hmm. Can I move back three the way I came? Six. 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 Retreats are always six. Retreats are always six. Okay, I wasn't sure if that was for mm -hmm. cavalry. Mm -hmm. That's not good. And now this one. It's another eight. It's another eight to. Eight to six again. Eight to six again. Four to four. Yeah, four, four to four. That's a problem. All right. You decided to make a. You decided to make a real mess over here. But I aim for All right, so this guy one. is one. Yeah, he's one. He's, yeah, he's one. And he is, and he is five. five. So six That's total. Six. So six total. Versus, versus five. five. Six to five. That's four hits. Three. <sighs> Three hits. Three net. Three net.
He is now fatigued. He is now fatigued and may not melee. Okay. Unless you rally him. Unless you rally him. What what does that entail? You must get six inches, must get away, six from inches away from me. And then you make an individual activation. And then you make an individual activation. And on a three to six, and on a three to six, he gets six, one alon back. back. Okay, sorry, I forgot that rule. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. No worries. No worries. Is that it? Is that it? I believe that is all the combats. Yes. Mercy. Mercy. Right. Turn nine. Turn nine. Motis, please. Motis, please. All right, you're good to go. And I'm being reminded. And I'm being reminded by my dear friends that this guy has to, that go, this guy has to go that way. He does. He does. Because he was retreated. Because he was retreated. We're going to awaken the uh, the guard, the right wing. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five. May I continue? Yes, you may. Thank you. Ah. Seven, may I continue? Yes, you may. Ten, may I continue? Yes.
One, two, three, four, five, six more. Yep. yep. May I continue? Uh, continue. Uh, that's the end. All right. Nope. All right. Gunnery. There. Five, no bonus. One hit. Does, so being on top of a slope, does that give you a range bonus no. as well? No. No. And there's no fire over either. Nothing there. Nothing there. I'm going to fix that. This gunnery here. I, yeah. Not canister range. Disappointed. But still, five with a bonus. On your horse, he's prowling around back there. One hit. My big guns have done all right. Wish I could say the same. Musketry, musketry. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I think I have any. Disappointed. I do. No, no, they moved. They moved. Nonsense. They moved. And they moved as well. Okay. Melees. Start here. Keenmeyer's back in the fight at a six versus a one. Six to one. That'll be a kill. All right, so you have to decrement, you have to your, decrement morale your morale by one. Already. What does that take you down to 13? Does that take you down to 13? Have you been just wait. The one over here is it says allied morale level and it also says allied morale level on your yeah, end. Yeah, it's it's it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's also, this one is blue. I'm just I'm just making sure that sure, sure. I haven't been sure, adjusting sure. the yeah. wrong one. Yeah, no, I get it. Yeah, you're at a 17 now. Oof. All right. Uh, this is a six. I'm over here. This is a six versus your four. Six to four. Wow. Two to two. I lose. Excellent. Nothing. Here we go. Big scrum, big scrum. Uh, six plus shock is seven versus Demal's four. Seven to four on Demal. Boys, really? Two to two. You believe it? I believe it. I believe it. Oh. I just. Somebody's. So there's going to be a conversation. There's going to be a conversation. I think it's another seven to four. It's the best troops in my flipping army. Seven to four. There we go. Four to one. Three hits. They are also fatigued. Can they still do musketry if yes. they're not fatigued? Yes. yes. Musketry they can do. And I've advanced. Now this... This is five... Five to five, but you reroll all hits. Four. 
four. Four. Four. Four. Four. Four. Four. Four. Four. Four. One hit. Net three. Net three. We'll stay right there. We'll stay right there. Thank you very much. Big melee. Big melee. Filthy Cossacks. Filthy Cossacks. On a four. On a four. Ten to two. I'll let you take him over to the sidelines there. And it takes you down to one more, one morale lower. One morale lower. Yep. All right. Mm -hmm. I think that's it, right? I think that's it. I believe that is. All right, very good. Roll it. That was a busy turn. Turn 10 is now, which is French, and I roll for the French Mo dice. You're up. Remember Napoleon and Devoe. All righty. Going to activate this core right here with Napoleon. And do, 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 do. they're out of the stream. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> And if they start in the city, does this also count as, this it, still counts as it, uh, yeah, it's complex. rough terrain? Yeah, it's complex. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Like, um, I'm not going to worry about them. I'm going to activate... Um, activate these guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jeff, I sense Jeff, I sense like you're starting to like the rules. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I'm trying to get it. <laughs> Uh, can I keep going? You may. You may. I have counted you in. I have counted you in at uh, two, three, four, five. Activate these guys. These guys forward. Activate these guys. This will be able to fire here. Um, they cannot fire there. They cannot fire there. They're in a town. They can. Uh, that's that's a problem. So then I guess they'll still get like the. That means they can't be charged by cavalry, right? Correct. Correct. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Well, then I will. Um, well, no. Now that, well, no. Now that I look at this, you're sticking out. You're sticking out. I gotta remember. What I gotta remember what the rule is. Has. On that. Has. What's the rule on that? What's the rule on that? I think it's if any. I think it's if any of portion you of you is out of the town. You out of the shoot. town. You can't shoot. But can I meal? But can I meal at you? It's always the edge case. It's always the edge case is the Guinness. He's faster at this than I am. Though.
uh, it looks like Haz is saying that if the point of contact is outside, Cav can attack. Um, yeah. but so I still got, has... so I'm uh, yeah. still vulnerable yes. to attack, and yeah. I can't shoot. I'm not. No, I'm not sure. I'm not, no, shoot. I'm not sure you can't shoot. That's the other thing I'm looking. Okay. That's the other thing I'm looking at. Can he shoot from there, Has? No unit may fire if any portion of its footprint is in an urban area. So yeah, no, you can't shoot. So All you right, can't shoot. So you I can't would, shoot. Which, your, your best which, bet. Your, your best back, bet is to back the heck up and get in there. That's what I was thinking. That would ch definitely change what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm going to activate. Do we do we want to? I guess since it's an individual activation, I'm going to just move him back. Yeah, that's like fine. That much. Yeah, that's fine. And then, can I keep going? Yes. Yes. Um, I'm going to activate uh, Devu Core here in the center. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Do, 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 move that forward. There you go. Um, it's two. It's two. It's 12. Keep it's going. 12. Keep going. Oh, and that's oh, the other, yeah, and that's the other, other thing. Yeah, that's the other thing. You can't shoot if you're you can't in the, in shoot the if you're in, in the river either. So, so. that's right. That makes that's sense. True. That makes sense as well. All righty. I am going to six alarm. That is five Elon. So I'm going to activate this cavalry over here. I believe that's mine. This I'm going to move him forward. Yeah, that you can't do. Yeah, that you can't do. You can only pivot. Not. You can only pivot forty five degrees. Oh yes, yes. And charge. You're right, you're right. Well that is a problem. Um so you're kind of running around. Yeah, you're kind of running field. around in my backfield, which that's good for me, but you know, kind of a mess. I can't tell which, which ones are mine. Um, you don't know the uniforms. Don't know the uniforms. Come on, they all just look blue. <laughs> These guys are green. These guys are green. Um, and I swear the first person. And I swear the first so person that says bases in the colored bases in the chat gets punched. Um, can, so you've got this infantry unit in between my two. Yep. Can I activate yep. these guys at the same time with core activation? Yes, as long as they're three. Yes, inches as long as they're three inches apart. And they're well. And they're, and I, well, I believe, and they, I, I believe they would have been. They just got moved apart. They just got fighting, moved so. apart by fighting. That's so fine. that's fine. Okay, thank you. I'm going to activate them. And I'm going to bring them back. <laughs> That's only three inches. That's only three inches. So you're only going to be able to get to. You're here. only going to be able to get to here. Oh, I'm going to move them three inches. Yeah, because. Yeah, because unless you want to turn, unless around, you want to turn them around. No, I don't want to do that. Yeah, so okay. stepping back is. Okay. Three so inches. stepping back is three inches. Sense. Can I keep going? Oh, uh, that's three more. Oh, uh, that's three more. That's, yeah, keep that's, going. Yeah, keep going. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm going to do something weird here. But, uh, we're all about four That's uh, not quite enough for that. I was going to try and attack that battery. I guess that's too far away. And you'd have to charge. The you'd have to charge the charge trees almost certainly. Oh, you mean these guys? Yeah. Oh, mean these guys? yeah, those guys. I think they're too far away since they're oh, in no. rough terrain. Oh, no. Oh, no, you could hit them. Oh, no, you could hit them. I can hit them? Yeah. 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 Well, then I guess that's what I'll do. <laughs> All right. You're coming on. Path. Yeah. Get a 
way up the hill. All the way up the hill. They're bold, they're bold, they're and, bold, brave they're bold and brave fighters. Can I keep going? Yep. Yeah. Um, oh, there's the only thing, oh, there's I, wonder the only thing I wonder about. Them. Can you see them? No. You couldn't no. see them. You couldn't see them. Mm, then I will not worry about that. I'm going to activate this, let your, the let first. Let me get your prepared marker back. There you go. There you go. I'm going to activate uh, the first of the fourth core here in the middle. Uh huh. Uh huh. Which is. Can I keep going? Uh, three more. Yes, uh, you three may. more. Yes, you may. Um, and activate the uh, guards core over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I keep going. And that's it. And that's it. All right. Gunnery. Gunnery. So I, I've still got that uh, cavalry they reserve do. force artillery, and that is canister, that is canister range. range. So you got to shoot at this. So you got to shoot at this guy. What? Uh, two with a bonus. Two with a bonus. Come on! He hasn't, hit, it the hasn't hit a thing. Uh, Someone's uh, gonna need to talk with their officer. I'm telling you. I'm telling goodness. you. Um, is that, then, is that all your guns? That's all the guns I. That's they're all. All the rest are in the back. Yep, musketry. Yep. Musketry. This guy stood. This guy stood. To, uh, did he not? He did. All right, this is your first. All right, this is your first musket shot. I think. It's uh, outside. It's, uh, of outside of volley, volley so it's skirmish. Uh, ooh. Ooh. One with a bonus. One with a bonus. Where else? Where else? Any other musketry? Any other musketry? This guy did not move. This guy did not move. No, he did not. Um, Alrighty. What's that range? What's that range? Five. Skirmish range. Yeah. So it's uh, seven. So it's seven artillery. with the attached artillery. Four with the bonus. Four with the bonus. Your melees have been awesome. Your melees have been awesome. But my artillery and so I have to, I have to get a six to a hit, right? I, and one five. I, would and one five would, would have counted. Okay. And you didn't start any. You melees. didn't start any melees for a change. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> all right. All right. You keep destroying. You just keep counterattacking, destroying all my units. So I, I don't I don't know how much more melee I'm gonna be doing. <laughs> I, I'm not, I, of, a mind I'm not of a mind to let you punch me. All right, let's uh, All go, right, to the next let's, turn. uh go to the next turn. All right. Turn eleven. 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 Uh, I need some modas. I need some modas. All right, moda. Thank you. Thank you. Problem is, the problem is, my guard is all busted up. Those are going to be a lot of individual activations if I get to them. These guys can go together. That guy's fine where he is. Shut the... Oh, what a misery. Well, we'll figure it out. Down here first. Ah! This is an activation of uh, the left wing.
I'll just do it. So that is one, two, three, four. I get that many mo dice, so I know I get to keep going. Even this is kind of a mess. Wow, this is, oh boy, did I screw this up. You pay a high price. Um, all right, let's do a logistical turn. And activate these units of the guard. That's three more for a total of seven. May I continue? Yes. I don't want to start individuals unless I have to. Yeah, I kind of have to. All right. I'm going to start individual active. Uh, core activation down here. There's three more. Can I continue? That brings it up to... That'd be 13. Uh, where, That'd be 13. 13? No. I was afraid of that. This is why I love Blukers, because you just don't know. You know? Doggone it. Um, all right. Gunnery fire. Five with a bonus right there. Heavy guns wailing at you. Two hits. I needed that. Yes, I did. I think I had another gun. I did. Guard foot. There. That's also five with a bonus. these fellers to hit oh, it's gonna bug me the whole game now um, these horse guns yeah they'll fire here it's a uh, five no bonus Two hits. Still letting those fellas just run around behind you. Huh? Great. Okay. Uh, musketry. Right here. Uh, five, six, six. With the attached, I'm assuming that is three inches. That's just outside. Six, six, right? 
Yeah, six, three, three, no bonus. Two hits. That's a kill. So I'll let you. It's a demerit on your morale. Decrement as you wish. Going to musketry you over here on your horses again. Uh, that's seven halved at horses, so four no bonus. Hit. Do I have a shot? I think I do. I do. Is that in range? It is. It's center to nearest. So, what do you got, boys? Five, three, no bonus. Oh, ran out of luck. I had good luck, then I ran out. My uh, Grenzers are going to return the favor with a mighty three, which is going to be a two, I think. Yep. Two, no bonus. Or two with a bonus. They got skirmishers. Doesn't matter, they hit anyway. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Can't see you, can't shoot at you. Oh, I did start a melee, didn't I? Yeah, okay, this is... <clears throat> Alright, so you are uh, four minus one because we're all fighting over a town, so you're at a three. I'm here at a three. I'm at a six minus I'm at a one. six minus... So it's five to three. Three hits to one hit? Yep. All right, so that's, I win on a two. You've got to go back 45 degrees away from me, six inches. I don't know if that's going to get, keep, you're going to have to keep going. Yeah, we're going to leave it there. That's fine. Just keep it on the board. You're darn well going to take that. Because when I take Sokol Nits, which I have done, that is a is that a one pointer or a two pointer? I forget. I believe it's I'm, a one pointer. I, am, I think it is. I, th I think it I'm is. A looking, I'm a looking. Racha, okay, I see here, broken unit French. Kobolnitz and the Pheasantry are one-pointers. Telnitz, Sokolnitz, Puntovitz, Jeruskovitz, and Slapnitz are two-point. That's a two-pointer. Right, so I got a two-pointer off you. Yeah? What's your morale at now? Uh, it's at 13 now. Okay, so I've pushed you out of Sokolnitz, the granary and all that stuff. Um, no other melees? We're done? We're done. All right, that takes us to turn 12. And you have more dice. All righty. Um, I'm going to activate the first of the first using Napoleon's, and so that brings us up here. And I assume I can still keep going. 
Yes. Yes. Yeah. These guys. I think this. Just two of them though. Oh yeah, and this guy here. Oh yeah, and this guy here because he was retreated, he's Yeah, I moved these guys. I activated the reserves and moved them over. Got it. Using a Got complex it. move. Going to um, activate the duvets. The troops over here in the middle. Move those guys. That's three, four, That's five. Three, four five. And then I'm going to activate going. the first of the fourth here over to the left of Duvet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I keep going? Eight, keep going. Eight, keep going. I'm going to activate these guys back to the guards. Yes. Yes. They can be one tiny bit more. Can I keep going? Yep. Twelve, keep going. Twelve, keep going. We're going to activate uh, the second of the fourth here. All right. All right. I guess since they're in rough terrain. 15, keep going. 15, keep going. We're going to activate the third of the fifth. Eighteen done. Eighteen done. All right. So, the guards to cannon. Can I these this reserve uh, Grand Park artillery? The reserve. Can uh -huh. I use that? I didn't move that, so I can. Yeah, he needs a half. Base yeah, he light. needs a half base with. He's got it. So you want to shoot at these light? So calves? you want to shoot at these light calf? Yes. That's five with a bonus. One hit. There's the first hit from your guns, I think. Yes, indeed. Other gunnery. See, the thing is, the French have so many guns attached to their brigades, they don't have that many batteries. There's one there, there's one there. All right. Musketry. Musketry. They moved. They moved. This guy's got a shot. This guy's got a shot. As does this As guy. does this guy. Yes. His shot is there. His shot is there. Um, that's halved. Um, that's halved because it's... One with a bonus. One with a bonus. Oh, sorry, one no bonus. Oh, sorry, one no bonus because skirmishers, skirmishers don't work against cavalry. cavalry. Ah. Oof. And this one. Oh, that's out of range. Never mind. Okay. Other musketry. Other musketry. Here. Three with a bonus. Three with a bonus. Three with a bonus. Add, so add, ooh, that bonus pays. Uh, 
I believe that's it for uh, musketry. my turn. Musketry. And your turn. And, and your turn. All right. Turn 13. You have motion dice. Uh, I don't know how much I've sorted this out, honestly, but... these boys up. Oh, I really need them to get to work. Here we go. Nothing complex here. One. Two. So that's six. May I continue? Yes. You never know. You just never know. Seven. Eight. Nine, may I continue? Yes, you may. Individual activations. Ten eleven, may I continue? Yes, you can. Twelve thirteen, may I continue? No. Been stalled out in the. Th I've been stalled out in the early teens, pretty consistently. Very good. All right, we'll start with this horse gun firing. There, same spot he's been firing. Uh, five nevertheless. Get rid of that ammo real quick. 
makes me sad, but doesn't get to keep it forever. It. Bless my gunners today. Those Russian gunners. Speaking of whom, four with a bonus. Hit. Fatigued. This is a horse gun, so it will shoot. Six dice, no bonus here on Pactod. Nothing. Big boatload of nothing. Gunnery here. Positional battery, four with a bonus on those same horse he's been pounding away at. I said four, right? Better get rid of that. Ain't four no more. Dog on it. Missed him. Okie doke. Uh, musketry. I'll start here. Grenzer Brigade. Attached artillery two. That's range, so it's one. One with a bonus. <laughs> now it's officially a handbag fight. And now uh, Lighters is going to shoot. It's going over there. Yeah, he's got a shot. He's going to shoot. That's five, three, no bonus. Got him. That's a kill. Assuming everybody else is out of range. That's correct. Nothing there. Those guys moved up. Those guys were all moving. These guys were all moving. They've been sitting there smoking cigarettes. Uh, I fired those guns. Got no musket shots. I don't think I had any melees. Oh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. I see it. Yep, one melee. The uh, four to two. On those guns. All right. Three to two, that's a kill. Oh, no, it is not. It is not a kill. Uh, because the way melee were, I did not double you. So you must retire. Uh... This is one of those things I always have to look up to see what it means. By the way, we do have a handy-dandy reference sheet right over here in case you ever wanted to peek at it. Um, but I want the official one. For oh, some reason, it's just completely blank for me. Is it? Just didn't load? It's a PDF. Interesting. Um, huh. i got to figure that out maybe on a... All right. Infantry versus cavalry. No. When defender is artillery. If doubled, it breaks. If outscores, it retreats. That's it. So, uh, because I didn't double you and I didn't kill you, you do have to lose that ammo. So now you do not lose, you retire. So you don't go against morale, but you are off the battlefield. It's basically your guys said, we're done for today. That is also what artillery units do if they uh, run out of ammo. They just... Head away. I do have to take a demerit. Not what I hoped the outcome would be. No other email. No other melees, right? Right. I'm good. All right. I think that's it. Turn fourteen.
You have more dice. Alrighty. Um. Best way to do this is. I think I am going to activate uh, the first of the first. So when I activate a core, I don't have to move them all as a group. I can move them individually, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So just because I'm not going to be able to move this block through there. So I'm going to activate that for two. that I'm going to activate the second of the fourth <laughs> can I keep going it's five you may proceed five you may proceed I'm going to activate the uh, first of the fourth May I keep going? Eight, proceed. Eight, proceed. I'm going to activate. Yeah, yeah let's go back around the edge. I'm going to activate the third of the fifth core. Eleven proceed. Eleven proceed. I'm going to activate the uh, reserves. So What a mess. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What a mess. Oh, my goodness. And then... It's 13. You can it's continue. 13. You can continue. It's all really yeah, easy until battle It's all really starts. easy until battle starts. Yeah. We're 17. Proceed. 17. Proceed. I am going to activate Mirad. This is his first move, I believe. So I think it's the reserves. Yes. Unit. Yes. So he's gonna run out of it. Real he's gonna quick. run out of it real quick, though. Seeing if he runs in there, but that's good enough. That's good enough. I can do. He's gonna do a complex movement. Can I keep going? That's it. That's it. All right. Guns. What guns didn't you move? The reserve artillery. I'm there. I'm there. I'm going to shoot. I'm going to shoot. He's horse. He's horse. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Four with a bonus. Four with a bonus. Ouch. Hey. Ouch. Fatigued. Fatigued. And then I believe that's the only ones I have not moved. All right. All right. 
think musketry. I think you, got a musket, you got a lot of musketry down here. Although yes. that's a hill. Although that's a hill. He can't shoot into town. He can't shoot into town. But these guys can shoot. These guys can shoot. Yes. Uh, three of the bones. Three of the bones. Got him. Got him. Kill. Kill. Morale down. Morale down. Perfect. And then I believe that these two here in the center by the uh Peasantry. By the peasantry. Yeah, yeah, by the peasantry. Yep. They're far enough. Um, they're far enough up, I'd say. They can't see them. They can't see them. But they can see them. But they can see them. They're not in range. And that's and, out of range. And that's out of range, yeah. But they can see these guys, right? This one is this, uh, this one is this we'll one we'll close, but we'll, we'll go that way. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe, maybe I changed my mind. Maybe I changed my mind. Ooh. <laughs> Four with a bonus. Four with a bonus. Right. No melees, right? Over there. Over there. No, I don't. I don't believe there were. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that actually passes us through the halfway point. Dig it. Uh, question: You good to go? Are you good? I, are you good to go to three o'clock your time? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I okay. figured. I, I had it set for a four-hour block. I just want to make sure that that worked. Yeah, no, that's what that's what they advertise. So <laughs> good to go for that. Yeah. I want to try and get a little bit further, and see how this mess plays out. Sure. And hey, Andres, greetings from Balatocon yourself. How you doing? We have a we have one of our viewers from Spain where they've got a, a convention rolling as well. Super cool. And do I have mo dice? On this our fifteenth turn. All right, you're good to go. Uh, it's a cluster. Yes, it is. I'm just surfeited with good options. You can see that. Um, still in all. All right. I'm going to wake these boys up. I shouldn't have.
see you. I cannot. All right. All right, two. That was two. Um, yeah. Now we're just going to go here, wake up these guys. I think they're all part of it. No, they're not. These three. Oh, wow. That surprises me a little bit. I accept. So that's a total of five. Unless I got really bad rolls, I know I can keep going. You are correct. Eight. Can I keep going? Yep. Will be tidy. Thirteen. Can I keep going? Yes. And I would have shipped them. I would have sorry, shipped them. Sorry, sorry, fourteen. Sorry, fourteen. Can I keep going? I keep going. Am I still good? Uh, yes, I'm still good. I'm going to rally these guys now on individual activation. So again, I need on a 1d6, I need a 3 to 6. Got it. The only thing you can't do is get that last, you can never get your full Elan back. You always got to stay one short. And that costs to two since you were activating in right? Correct. Okay, and that's, the, takes me that's the end. Yeah. And that's the end. Okay. And that's the end. Okay. Cannon fire. Can't quit those guys. They're my favorites. Last shot at four on them. No bonus, so no nothing. Cannon fire here, guard foot, same target, three with a bonus. Oh no, soon I will lose my gun. This makes me sad. Under more. Got him. We've had Oh, and that's a kill. Missed that part. Sets morale down. Horse gun up here on the hill. That's right, I've hit no one. Ooh, we've 
got those filthy, filthy lights. I don't like them. Five on Shiner. Nothing. Not a thing. Hello. This is Canister. It's gonna be six with a bonus on Morand. Wow. Apparently I didn't see you. Apparently you weren't really there or something. He's got nothing to shoot at. Musketry. They moved. He's melaying. He's moved. He did not, so he'll shoot at them horses. Three on those horses with no bonus. Nothing. Ooh, the musketry went away on me. All right, here we go. Over here. Long. It's a uh, skirmish range. Four. Four on Morand. No bonus. There we go. No way you're coming up that hill and not me shoot you a little bit. Berg. Four again. No bonus. Nice. They're regretting having crested that hill. We search for musketry. We see very little. I see this one. Six. Straight ahead. Is that three inches? It is. So that is inside volley range. Six, no bonus. Mm. That's the way the cookie crumbles. And which which point me at? Because I got this one. On right, your horses. No, I'm just really bad. I keep forgetting to be the ruler. So oh, sure. So it's uh, attached artillery seven, so four on these horses. No bonus. I need something. Thank you. It's tired of you wandering around back there. And I do believe that takes me to the melee portion of our program. I think I only had the one. A little bit of a surprise right there. Lapdev, that's a six. Oh, six to six, because you are undersized. Six to six. Four to two, I think. Yep. Back six inches. Facing the wrong way, please. And that was all the melees, right? I think that's it. Can you see? That's that? Yes. Seems spread apart. It is turn 16. You have more dice. All right, I am going to activate uh, Duvet's core here in the middle. I guess this guy, this infantry that retreated is, should be out of range, but I'm going to... Uh, 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 uh. No, because I mean they were lined up. No, because up. I mean they were lined up. Yeah, he might have been a little behind. Yeah, he might have been a little behind, I guess. 
Yeah, it's fine. All right. Just remember, All right. just remember, don't waste, Napoleon. don't waste Napoleon's thing. Oh, yes. Okay, I, I will activate, actually, um, I will activate uh, the same one that I've been have activating him with before. Okay. So the yeah. first of the first. So that's all these guys. Yes. So these guys. They just gonna not move, I guess. And you can move Napoleon. You can move Napoleon. Yes. Okay, and then that's just two. I am just two. Just two. I'm going to activate the uh, third of the fifth core over here. Five continue. Five continue. continue. Then, then I'll have to activate uh, the, the ones over here by the roof. So, there's gonna stay here, but okay. these guys, and they, I'm assuming, do they get a charge for being downhill? Or well, they're, they're, char well, they're, they're, char they're charging, they're charging, up they're charging uphill, but we've been playing, but we've been crests. playing these as crests. So, oh, so okay. we're both on top of the hill. We're both on top of the hill now. They're both on top of the hill. All right. Okay. And then I'm also going to activate yeah, this guy. Forward. Mine. And I will also activate the first or the fourth over here. So that would have been. A so that would have been seven. a total of seven. Continue. Continue. These guys are getting pounded. Uh, that's the way it crumbles. Indeed. That's ten. Continue. That's ten. Continue. I will activate uh, the second of the fourth here in the middle. Mm -hmm. and... mm -hmm. I will prepare them. I think that's All a three. good move. All three? Yes. It's 13. Can I keep going? It's 13, continue. Activate the guards. What is the range on the guards or guard artillery? All guns are twenty-four inches. All guns are twenty-four inches. But you need line of sight. But you need line of sight, and there's no fire over. Should give me line of sight on some of those. Can I keep going? Uh, that was how many? Uh, that was how many more? That was four. You are done. You are done. Oh. Guns. What you got? What you got that didn't move? This one here. Same target. Yes, indeed. 
Hopefully get rid of that guy. Four with a bonus. Four with a bonus. One hit. Bonus pays. Bonus pays. Oh. And that's a kill. I have Mark Memorial. I have Mark Memorial down. I don't think you got any other guns. Muskets. Those guys move. Them fellers did not move. So who here did all three of these not move? Do I have that right? The um, first brigade du Moulin did not move, nor did the uh, reserve one next to it. So, so Frere did. Uh, Frere did. Okay, got it. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. But the other three in that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, first of the first um, mm -hmm. core did not, or moved, sorry. So we'll start. Well, so we'll, we'll start. start well, we'll just start wherever you want. Um, we'll start with the. Um, I don't know. So this uh, reserve, I think they're in range, skirmish range of that cavalry. Oof, or just, Oof, just out off. of it? Yeah, they're just out. Yeah, they're just out. Yeah. Yeah, you got him. You got him. <laughs> so, uh, All right. So uh, let's see here with the two no bonus. Two no bonus. Okay, he's effective. And then the uh, second grenadier is right here. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Spicy meatball. Spicy meatball. Eight, no bonus. Eight, no bonus. Two. Two hits. And this one's skirmish range. Mm -hmm. So four with a bonus. Four with a bonus. And then I think that's it for it on that end. And Miles. I think you had one, right? I think you had one, right? Oh, I know. I, sorry, I had one more musket. I had that uh, over here. And he wants to shoot. And he wants to shoot a, uh, this guy here, maybe? Yes. Okay, I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. It's a little, to, weird, it's a little the weird with the bumpy hill. We're gonna give him the shot here. We're gonna give him the shot here. Eight, no bonus. Eight, no bonus. Uh, one hit. And this one? That uh, those dragoons are undersized, so it's five. Oh, but they have shock, so that's six. And six to five, I re-roll all hits. Not that I got any. Two. Excellent. And I think that was it as far as melees went. Mm -hmm. All right, I will roll okay. your motion dice. Mm -hmm. and, that is, and that is, let's remind ourselves, 17. turn 17. Is there any differentiation between the time of day other no. than when the enforcement's no. coming? Some scenarios do, Some have, scenarios it, do have it, but most don't. But most See you, turn up. Somebody downvoted our video. 
What's going on? Who are these people? All right, so do I have more dice? Yes, you do. Excellent. Excellent. Makes a man think about priorities. Activating this left wing. Does that get there? No, it does not. So close, and no cigar. So that is one, two, three. Oh no, one, two. Sorry, those guys didn't do anything. Two. Activating this left wing. Two more for four. Five. Six. Six, can I continue? Yes, you can. Actually, I should have done this. Seven. And eight. Ten. Ten, may I continue? Yes, keep going.
Individual activations. 11, 12. 11, 12. May I continue? No, you may not. Nope. <laughs> knew it. I just knew it. Just knew it. Cannons are stuck there. This cannon's not. He'll shoot there. It's a five with a bonus. Can't do those guys no more. He's got to do them guys. One hit. One more five left. Very sad. Man, this used to be an obvious shot. It is no longer. My last shot. Very sad again. Right over here on Frere, I suppose. Uh, that'll be three with a bonus, after which he retires. Nothing. This gun here, I think this is going to be... Oh, no, he's got one more left. Well, he's been shooting here, but that guy's now getting meleeed, so I guess he'll shoot here. Yeah. Three with no bonus. Wow. That, uh... uh you love to see that. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's great. That's just super. All right, these horse artillery. Uh, ooh, a plethora of targets. Nobody's hit. Ugh. You shoot at Shiner because you've squared up. That's a bonus. Five with a bonus. The guns go silent. Excellent. That could prove costly. I guess we'll see. Musketry. Nothing, nothing. Tra la la. Here. I will shoot you. Uh, four, no bonus. Here we go. Same target, same odds, four, no bonus. Musketry is compensating for me. That's a melee, but that is a shot. Is that range, though? It is. Huzzah. Four, no bonus. Wow. Why bother, boys? Why bother? Can't fault you for trying. Boy, I'm just... Mm. Well, what's to do? Die bravely, gentlemen. Die bravely. Three. No bonus. Nope. I think that's it. I think that's all that. Oh, no. No, no, no. These horse. I get to shoot at him again. Hooray. Four no bonus. That was worth a while. Melees. I see this one. That's uh, the guard, which is three. Three to three, but you have to reroll all hits. You don't get six. I, I, don't I, get six. I messed up. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> I meant to hit the minus button. I hit the three. 
So one. Uh -huh. And no. zero. Fortunately, I can, Fortunately I can claim a. So, but now here's the thing. One of the great rules in Blucher is that unless cavalry destroys infantry, it still bounces. Just the nature of cavalry. Um, so I actually am the one that has to go back, even though I am said to have won. It's Sam's views about the uh, strength of formed infantry against cavalry, and I strongly agree with him. So I, I think it's a great rule. Some people fuss about it, but I think it's magnificent. All right, here we are. Let's have a fight right here. Berg with uh, six. It's coming at Morand with three. Oh, but you're steady. So it's six to four. That's a good brigade. Two for me. Three for you. You win. Congrats on that. Congrats on that. Excellent. Excellent. You needed that. I've been taking a bunch of L's. And this one. This is a this is a doubler. Pity I couldn't get a flank, but there you go. Five. Five ten. Ten to six. So five to three, am I right? Yes, that's how I read it. Okay, five to three, takes. All right, I'm gonna go back six inches. You've got that figured out, see that? I have to lose some Milan. That's it. That was an awful lot, my gravy. So that's the end of your turn. So somebody butt dialed, somebody somebody dialed, dialed, dialed us. Dislike. That's dislike. Hey, Giorgio, how you doing out there in Madrid? All right, yeah, that's it. Eighteen. You got more dice. All right. Start with Napoleon. Start with Napoleon. Start with Napoleon. I'm going to activate the first of the first. And going to move this guy forward. These guys in. I suppose that's not in range to wait. I suppose it all is. Yeah. Well we can. But now it's being broken up. Um, then I'm going to activate the uh, third of the fifth core over on the my far left. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I keep thinking I, wa I want to move them all as a unit, even when they don't have to. Like, I know that's probably useful, but... Can I keep going? That's five only. That's five only, so... I assume so. Going to activate the first of the fourth mm -hmm. right here in the middle. Mm -hmm. Get that out of your way. Get that out of your way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
and then you guys can move another two inches. Not quite there. Yep. Well, remember if you're charging. Well, remember six, if you're charging at six. Oh, yep. Um, but only one of them. only one of them is going to be able to do it to point their center. To point their center. So pick which. So pick which. That one. Okay. All right. Can I keep going? Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see here. Eight. That's keep going. eight. Keep going. I'm going to do individual activations, and I'm going to activate first um, the this one right here, the mm -hmm. individual one over here. Can I keep going? Uh, nine ten. Uh, nine ten. Keep going. I'm going to activate the first um, Kister Brigade. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if I can keep going, I'm also going to activate the uh, second Lockhart Brigade. Yes. Yes. Uh, can I keep going? Sure. Sure. We we'll activate also the one that's in the pheasantry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Since he can he can see these guys now. Yep. yep. They're over the ridge. Does he wish you wish Does he wish you wish to relay them? Yes. All right. All right. And that's it. And that's it. All right. Uh, musket, uh, cannons. What you got? Still got that fellow, don't you? This is last. Yes, this is last. last. Not his last. And Not his last. last. I know. Attacking the Cossack Brigade. Three. Three. Three with a bonus. Three, Three with a bonus. Bonus. Next. And then the guard artillery. Uh, mm -hmm. I believe that they did not move this turn, so they're going to attack the. Uh, I, I don't can't, know if they, they can can't attack see, that guard. They can't see them. They, they can't see the. They, they, okay. Yeah, they need a. Yeah, they need a. They need a gap that's, they need a a gap inch, that's an inch and a half. Except it's got. It. Except it's got it. You know, but it's this. this, way. But, it's this, this way. Way. but it's this way. way. That's this way. The angle. The angle. There we go. That's the way. There we go. Do That's the way to do it. How far are those two lines? How far are those two lines apart? They, they should be able to. Yeah, but but yeah, it's but, also but it's also from center. Is it from, from the center. Okay. That's from the center. Ah, there's a problem. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. All right, then I think that's done for my my artillery. Musketry. 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 You had a lot of movers. You had a lot of movers. But, uh... Yeah, them fellers. Yeah, them fellers. <sighs> I sigh heavily. I sigh heavily. Who's first? Who's first? Uh, the Reserve Grenadiers. The Ouch. ones with shock. Ouch. No, the shock only benefits... The shock only benefits in melee. It's the, uh... It's the, uh... Attached artillery. That attached matters. artillery that matters. Eight dice. Eight dice. No bonus. No bonus. Nothing. Nothing. And then the uh, first brigade, uh, Du Moulin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let me see. It's going to be four, I think. Four with the bonus. Four with the bonus. Hit. Hit. I think that's it for musketry as well. All right, All right Milas. So beginning over here in 
not sure what that town is, but I've got my infantry attacking your cavalry. I see one dead. I see one dead. You, you have it in all this mess. Yes. So it's going to be six, so it's gonna be minus, six one minus one five. And I'm seven to minus one. I'm seven to minus one. Five. So it's five to six, but you reroll all hits. I roll six. You roll five. You roll five. Okay. Four for me. And you can't win, so. If there's a positive here, it's you can only lose so badly. You can only lose so badly. Okay, so one hit. Yeah, so you only you take two for losing the melee, so you bounce six that way, facing the same way. And then uh, we have the my infantry charging your uh, batteries over here in the middle. Ah, uh, so not so not happy about that. Okay, so okay, so um, five, 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 five. five. So that's four hits. And I got. And I got four hits. Four hits. That's a big E. So I lose an ammo. So I lose an ammo. And nope, you stay and facing Nope, the you same stay way. facing the same way. Oh. You are repulsed. You are repulsed. Okay. These fellers? These fellers? Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Two to seven. Two to seven. Okay. Wow, that's not good odds. Uh, you know, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, and uh, unfortunately for you, that's a kill. Ah, uh, all right, yeah, okay. put him over there. Okay, put him over there. And did you already take off one more out point? I did not. I did not. Now at 10. This is a bad one for me in some ways. Did this this guy came in too, right? Keister. Keister. Yes. Keister. That's a flank. That's a flank. Uh, you'd have to. Uh, you'd have to like that, do it like that, but it's still a flank. Okay. So. Okay. okay so. Um, five for me. Five for me. And you have. And you have. Four. Four. Three, I should say. Three, I should say. Because you are in bad. Because you are in bad Ooh. terrain. Ooh. Nine. Six. Nine. You're at a total of. Nine. You're at a total of nine. I'm at five. But I. So it's nine to but five. I, so it's nine to five. I reroll all hits. I reroll. Uh huh. And I reroll. So how and many? I did you get? So how many did you get? Five. Net four. I'm dead. It's one of the biggest kills I've ever seen, honestly. Uh, both y'all take one. Either one may advance, but not both. Can't make contact. I gotta take down my morale. Six. Is that it? And I that believe that I believe that's it for my turn. All right. All right. I'll uh, roll your motion dice. Please. All right. Let's finish some. Business. Go on ahead. 
like this division is this core is going to activate I should say Three. Oh, that's close. I don't think he gets there. All right, with the, having started with three, I'm not going to activate uh, the left wing here. That's a total of five. Yep, keep going. Thank you. Thank you. Nothing like having a sucking chest wound in the middle of your line. something all right uh, i'm gonna wake up the uh fourth the, uh, the austrian a core the a column these fellows and he's fixing to come with him No stay put. So that's two more. So it's a total of uh, seven. Can we keep going? Yeah, you can keep going. Eight, nine, ten. Keep going. Waking up the guard at 10. Jeez. Well, since it's got to be a difficult move no matter what.
It's 13. Can I keep going? Yes, you can. Hey, I make it out of the low teens. Dig me. Individual activations. That's 15. Good to go. That's 17. Actually, let me. That's it. All right. Pretty good. That is a good deal. All right. Uh, gunnery, gunnery, gunnery. Oh, I could see you now. No, I can't. Ah. Oh, well. You, I can see. Four with a bonus. Same shot at Shiner. Four with a bonus. Guard horse. One hit. I finally nick him. Yep. Guys are getting closer and closer. Final shot right there at Clapard. Three, no bonus. One hit, and he retires. It's all the gunnery, and now the musketry. <laughs> Two, no bonus. Question mark? In range. Rotormund. Four on that horse. No bonus. One hit. Is that a kill? No. They're down to two. Kamensky. Four no bonus. It's another hit. And now Oslufyev. There's a name for you. Three no bonus on Kister. Another hit. They moved over. Miles. Urusov seven versus Levasseur's two. Seven to two. That he also can't retreat, so. All right, another morale demerit. 
I'm down to nine. Started any other scraps? I think I kind of minded my own. Oh, I forgot this shot. How can I forget this shot? This is precious to me. Seven four, no bonus. All right, fatigued him. it turn 20 you have more dice as of right now right now all right i feel the pressure i feel the pressure so i'm going to use napoleon once again to activate this first core and i think they're all within range of each other i think that's comfortable. so i think that's comfortable um i'm going to activate this i'm going to leave doom it on there Going to actually leave all those guys there for the most part. Except for. If I then I'm also going to activate the. Um, over here on the your far right, the uh, mm -hmm. third of the fifth core. I measured it, and it should be able to get me there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, am I able to keep going? Yes. Yes. I'm going to activate the, um, the, or I guess, whatever, the third core in the middle with uh, Duvet. No, uh, Devu, sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I guess your, those troops are still prepared, so. Hmm. Regardless. I am going to this uh Kister, first brigade Kister is in range of your uh Olsifu, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then that's gonna stay there. Um sorry, one second, I have to plug in my computer again. Then I'm going to charge with the cavalry. All right. And then I'm also going to activate the... Give me a second, I gotta... Count up. I gotta count up. Go on. Continue. Go on. Continue. We're going to activate the first of the fourth core. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do this actually. And do this can actually. I still? Can I keep going? That's a total of that's a total of gone. ten. So go on. Yeah. I'm going to activate. Like I'm running out of troops almost. My goodness. I'm going to activate this one that's in the pheasantry. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Going to. Keep them on that side of the ridge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. 12, go on. 12, go on. Uh, 
um, going to activate the guards, guards core. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Goes forward. Runs like Miguel. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna just leave that there and uh, can I go any further? 15, go on. 15, go on. I feel like actually the last one I actually even want to move is this one over here with Murat. Okay, and I think that's it. All right. All right. Gunnery. I think I have one left on the uh, reserve artillery over here. And I think they should have a line of sight to that Cossack brigade, but yeah, I don't know. You can't. They're, 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 they're engaged in melee. I guess they, they don't have anywhere to shoot, so. Okay. So, okay. That's that, and then it's guard artillery. Yeah, that doesn't have any. I need to. I should have moved those. You can. Shame. Go ahead. You can. Go ahead. You had you had points left. You had you had points left. All right, that, that'll get them there. And that that's all the gunnery I have. All right, musketry. All right, musketry. Musketry starting over here on the far right. Now we have the uh, have to take the infantry. infantry. Yeah. So, so, three with a bonus. Three with a bonus. That's one hit. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Then we have the, um, in the center, the Kister Brigade, or in the Roche Brigade. Mm -hmm. That's normal volley range. Yeah. Uh, Four and a bonus. Four and a bonus. Nothing. 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 And that is going to be three with a bonus. Nothing. Then. Is this murdering, is this murdering squad you had here? Yes. Um, first, the Dumoulin Brigade on the right. Sure. Uh, Seven, the bonus. Seven, the bonus. Oh, come on. Come on. And then... The... Dupa. Uh, Jeez. Eight, no bonus. Eight, no bonus. Adam. That is two. That's all you needed. That's all you needed. Other fire? Other fire? Um, I believe that is it. All right, Milas. All right, Wait, Milas. no, no, no. There's uh, this oh. Brigade Frere mm-hmm. and the... Mm-hmm. Uh, no, that can't hit. Um, but the debate fair is in skirmish distance. Four, no bonus. Four, no bonus. One hit. 
Milas. Milas. Um, start over here with the cavalry charging Kamensky. Mm -hmm. They're they are prepared. So. Eight. So we got eight. Yeah, so we got eight. Oh shoot! You can't. Charge oh shoot! Without. You can't charge with them. They're fatigued. I can't charge. They're fatigued. I forgot. So I just moved them. They just moved those back to where they were. Okay. Then. Uh, Sahuk on Ripinski. Yep. Ripinski. Yep. So that is underside. So that is underside with that washes six. with the shock. Six. Versus. Versus. Six to six. Six you, to six. You, you re-roll all, re all hits. Two for That's me. Two, two for me. So you're going to win regardless. Yeah. yeah. But two hits, yeah. Would have done it. Would have done it. Yeah. All right, six inches. All right, back six inches back, way. facing the right way. Facing the right way. Yes, towards me. Yes, towards me. And then this attack on the batteries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Four. Four. Four to three. Four to three. Oh, what, I rolled, one oh, what I rolled one more day. Oh, you hit for three. Oh, you hit for three, did you? Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. And, and it's And it's kill. Nice. Nice. Hey, uh, only four more. Only four more. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, I'm being told that my four hours, that is, my up. Four hours is up. <laughs> um, um, so, so now that you've had a chance, now that you've had a chance to actually, actually have at it, what say you of what say I thought it was really fun, uh, but uh, I definitely made a lot of mistakes that um, having played a few turns, I don't think I would have made. Sure. Um, sure. It's just like I have kind of had all my troops bunched up here, and obviously, like you can't use them all, and with that combat width, so yeah, I definitely would have tried to get more pieces kind of developed across the the battlefield. But absolutely, uh, yeah, absolutely. No, I, I, and uh, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, but uh, I think that's. I think other than that, there was mistakes I I kind of made, but I think overall it was really fun to play. Definitely something I enjoy yeah. watching. So, <laughs> well, and hopefully, well, in and hopefully, this, you'll in make seeing this, you'll make more it. sense of watching it. Absolutely. I was wondering what the die roll and the die values were, sure, and what they sure. meant because I was like, "What is going on?" <laughs> no, I will say that uh, the I, I will I will say that in the end, um, this was close. I mean, because as we discussed. I've got all I've got to do is take the pheasantry and take Koblenitz and I win. But boy, oh boy, did you have my morale down? I mean, that's I, you know, going in there and trying to take this stuff would be a high risk proposition for me. Um, the thing that's really got me in trouble, though, is you've got one, two pretty solid and really three solid divisions coming at me. And I, I got nothing. I mean, I've got nothing here as a practical matter. And I've got this, which you very prudently square. I mean, you squared up just as it was coming. So that's well done. But um, for those who have a chance to watch later, uh, this is, you know, this is what Blucher is. This is how Blucher represents Napoleonic Warfare at its scale. Um, and for those who are watching live, I the reason I got a break now is because I'm going to be back at six o'clock central, a scant four hours away to, uh, well, play more Blucher. What can I tell you? I played a lot. So um, we'll be back for that. So thank you, Nick. It was a lot of fun. Great to meet you. Great. To thanks meet you. thanks Great for to having me, you. Jim. It was a lot of fun.
And uh, thanks and a lot to Sebastian and everybody at uh, Georgetown University Wargaming Society for the invitation. Glad to have you along for the ride. In any event, as I always 